What's up, HOH? In our usual spot. Feels weird with a blue line in here. It does. In the OLD. How's today going? <laughs> what? People just freaking out. Oh, yes. They are throwing Ty under the bus big right now. Yeah, they want, they're going to come to you. I don't know if they did already, but they're going to come to you with a plan to get Ty and Brayden up where it's a backdoor for Jed. So Jed never touches the block. Oh, yeah. I've already talked to Jed. He pretty much knows what's going on. No, I know, but they're still, Beth wants me and Ty to convince you to put him and Brayden up. And this is crazy. But it's actually a plan to get Ty out. What? Yes. Why do they want Ty out? No, just Beth does. Think about it. <laughs> just Beth does. Because who's better for Beth's game? Brayden or Ty? That's a, a stupid, but if Brayden and Ty went out and Jed wins it, he's going to take off Ty and then Beth goes out. No, he doesn't. He leaves it the same and we vote Brayden out. It was like, then we have a larger discussion if Ty, she's like, who's better for your game, Brayden or Ty? I was like, Brayden. She's like, yeah, Ty was pushing hard to get you out last week. I wasn't. Ty was pushing to get you out? No, Beth was. Yeah. But she's just telling me that. Yeah. Beth is doing way too much. I now think Beth is fighting hard to keep Jed in this game. Harder than I ever anticipated. Really? Mm-hmm. And Ty is pissed. They're turned, Tara. It is, they are, the trio is done. Good. It happened way quicker than I thought. Good. Beth went to Ty to get him to volunteer to go up on the block. What? Yes, this really just happened like an hour and a half ago. To be sitting next to Brayden? Just be sitting next to Brayden. Why would I do that? I don't know. How are your conversations like with Ty? Really good. Like I've been telling you, all season long I've been having great talks with Ty everything I've ever said to Ty has never made it to Jed or Beth huh. what does he think I should do? well I'll tell you what he thinks he thinks you should put up Jed and Beth because mm -hmm. he wouldn't use the veto in that situation and he knows if he's the replacement nom Braden and I would keep him over whoever's left on the block because we would But I do see benefits of putting Jed and Ty up there. What are the benefits to that one? Jed's for sure going. Just because they have it in their mind. Jed will use the veto on someone. I need him. If he's going to win a veto, he needs to use it on him. No, 100%. I, yeah. Jed has to hit the block. Yeah. The, th the thing is, is like, Ty, in my mind, is done with them. And if they're remaining on the block, he said to me, it's a no-brainer who we vote out. And he's like, and it ain't Beth. Yes. He honestly, he wouldn't even have a choice in that scenario. What I think he would do is let me and Brandon vote him out and be with a one vote for Jed. Jury management. Yeah. I don't care. Right, 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 right. right. I really don't care, to be honest. But... Jed and Beth are convinced you don't put Beth up in any scenario because of a, a woman. Well, that's not true. I'll do whatever I think is best for my game. That's what I feel. And Beth has been playing a stealth game. I don't care if she's got a V or not. <laughs> not you know. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I just... That's the only reason why I wouldn't maybe put her on the block because I think that if she won... <laughs> She wouldn't use it, and honestly, I don't even think she would try for it. I, the thing is, is I know Ty wouldn't use it. Yeah. I know he wouldn't, because he wants Beth gone. He wants her gone bad. But the thing is, Brayden and I... I feel like Ty would. If Ty wanted though, I feel like he would say Jed. He wouldn't. I really don't think he would. Jed would beg him to use it. Jed would be like, I'm your boy. 
oil to the soil. Jay pulling his heartstrings big time. Ty could beat Beth in a final two scenario. He could not beat Jed. Yeah. He couldn't. He could beat Beth. Beth has one HOH that isn't perceived to be hers. He's got one veto. Ty wins one more HOH. Yes. Yes. He's above her. It's all about what's best for our games. Yeah. The way I see it, me, you, Brayden, and Ty in the four. Best case scenario, I think, for all of us. I wouldn't be mad at that. In that case, it would be me and you versus Brayden and Ty, and I honestly think Brayden would cut Ty. Yeah. Brayden would love to see the three of us so. stick it through. No, why? It, it makes no sense. And I don't trust them to use you as a pawn. They would pull you out. Oh no, they would. I, I don't even think they're pitching me anymore. Not to each other. Maybe to you. But no, I, th I think it's just a full-on scramble. Oh, it is a full-on scramble, and I'm loving every. Me and Braden are literally having the best times ever. Every time we get left alone. Because I went, Beth came and talked to me and pitched it to me. She's like, we have to convince Brayden it's a backdoor for Jed. We have to. We have to convince him. She's like, I've been telling Tara I wanted to cut Jed forever. She's like, I'm not cutting Jed. She said that? Yes. <laughs> she's sketchy. She's so sketchy. And then she's like, then me and you. What did she say? She's been telling you forever that she'd cut Jed? Yeah. She wouldn't. She said she wouldn't. Because she wants Jed to win next week's HOH. And then she wins the four and cuts him in the four. If I put up Jed and Ty, and Jed comes down, Beth goes up, and then Beth goes home. I think it's the best move. Honestly, it's best case scenario. not going to leave. Jed and Ty really strong. No, because Ty can't win against Jed. Basically, the only people now... Yeah, Jed is still a big target. Exactly. No. It would be me and Jed left in the game that are the biggest targets. Yeah. And then you. Yeah. But I get, I get cut before you for sure. So does Jed. Yeah, that would make more sense. And... The things are going to come out. The truth is going to come out eventually. It always does in this house. There is. I mean, I love Brayden. Brayden is sitting in a very good position. He doesn't. He doesn't have any comp wins, Tara. I know, but he, no, that's what people. Everybody would probably want to take fucking Brayden to the end. That's the only thing. I want to take him to the end. Not the final two. Yeah. I want Blue Line to have the fucking toughest decision of her life. She'd be so good. Can I just, can we just split it? <laughs> I'm taking Blue Line's advice and I'm sticking with you. And I'm going after big targets. Yeah, we have to. We have no we choice. Have we have no choice. I'm in too yeah, deep. Way too deep. Like, There's no going back. There isn't. There isn't either with Brayden. No. Brayden no, is fine. Brayden's like... I love Brayden. He's, that's why, like, I knew, like, just because he's not winning doesn't mean he's not playing dangerous Oh, no, games. I know. You know? We're all playing dangerous games now. Yes. We're the final six, Tara. That fucking means something, man. It does. We struggled and fought to be here, every single one of us. Yep. Some harder than others. Yep. You, just if not harder than me. Yep. I had a big alliance to fall back on. Big fucking Tina. <laughs> and Tina. And you. <laughs> And I won comps, yeah. but I was on the block three times. One was a backdoor attempt. Oh, this veto, it's gonna come down to this veto, big time. If Jed don't win, life is good. Beth has nobody. We decide if we cut her or tie. If Jed wins or if he doesn't win? If he doesn't win. If Jed doesn't win, he goes home for sure. Yeah. Me and Brayden are set in stone on that move. What happens? Put up Jed and Ty. Ty finally pulls out a win that he needs. And then Beth goes up. Who goes in that scenario? Jed. Jed. How can we keep Jed in this game? Yeah. He could win out. Yeah. He literally could win every competition he plays in. 
He's got the most potential to do that. So best case scenario would be Raiden winning, you winning, or Ty winning. Mm -hmm. That's the way I see it. If Beth wins, then it pulls down Jeff. They have the votes. We're fucked. Aaron did have the votes. Yep. We are fucked. But it doesn't mean Brayden goes home. I think Beth would come to me and be like, Keith, Ty wanted you gone. Like, let's get him out. Yeah. I really think she would try to get me to flip on Ty. Just from the conversation I had with her today. She's trying to plant those seeds that it was all Ty's doing. Me going up on the block last week. Honestly, I, after the conversation, I would put up Jed and Beth. But. I gotta see how my combo goes with Ty. I know. It's your your move and know that Brayden and I support whatever you do. But just with how sketchy Beth is being and how hard she's trying to protect Jed. Well, she's very like, if I go, you're next. She's like, they will come for you. They're coming for you if I go. Third. That's the plan, is to scare you, to spook you. Yeah. They're like, we have to... T they, they've asked me and Brayden to be like, we're gunning for you. We're going to get you next week. Yeah. Obviously, you know, Brayden and I are not going to do that. Yeah. And neither is Ty if he wins HOH next week and doesn't touch the block this week. <laughs> I just have to... How do we know that he wouldn't save Jed? I know he's not gonna fucking use the veto on Beth. You just, like, I, no, there's no way. Ty knows he's got no path with Jed anymore, but he does have a path with Beth. He can beat Beth. He can't beat Jed. And if I'm not touching the block, he needs Brayden. He needs Brayden bad. They're the only ones who have a similar game to him. Mm -hmm. And then it's basically the whole house versus me. You need to tell me, okay, what is Beth saying to you? Because Beth tells me a lot of shit. So what is Beth saying to you? Like what? I just told you what she's saying. She's got this plan to spook you. She's got a plan to backdoor Jed when it's really a potential front door on Ty. Ty sees it. What was the actual deal that you made with Beth? That I would take her to final three. With her and Jed? Yes. But if she's gone, how the fuck could I do that? Do they want a showman's final two? I don't think so. I think they want to keep Brayden around or you around to cut you in the final, or to bring you to final two, you or Brayden. Yeah. I really think you're stuck in this house until finale night. So gear up, lady. Because they're coming. Huh? I don't know who to put up next to Jed. Talk with Ty, talk with Brayden. Yes. I'm really excited to have Wendy's with Ty. He should be. Yeah. Brave, eh? Uh, I was looking for you guys.